Wouldn't it be incredible if something is out there that could help increase the learning capacity of poor learners by as much as 150%, meaning more than double and a half their ability to learn? Well, there may actually be something like that. And it is in the form of a common spice called cinnamon. Now let's get right into the study and I'll elaborate more as we move forward. All right, cinnamon converts poor learning mice to good learners, implications for memory improvement. That's also the citation title published this June 24, 2016 in the Journal of Neuroimmune Pharmacology. We're gonna go right into the parameters first since a lot of our listeners tend to be researchers. Parameters are as follows, the known parameters. It was funded by the VA and National Institute of Health and the Alzheimer's Association. The study was done on animals. The administration of the cinnamon was through oral feedings of ground cinnamon. The length of time of the study was about 30 days, and the material preferred to be used was Ceylon cinnamon, not Chinese cinnamon because it could be toxic due to the high levels of coumarin. So you use Ceylon cinnamon. That's your study parameters. This is actually what happened, which is kind of incredible. All right. Poor learning mice, which usually took about 150 seconds to find the right hole in what was known as a Barnes maze test. On the other hand, after one month of cinnamon treatment, there's just oral consumption of cinnamon, poor learning mice were finding the right hole within 60 seconds. So they went from taking to 150 seconds to 60 seconds in a randomized maze test. They believe cinnamon helps people learn, or should say not help people learn yet, helps animals learn through the following process. Cinnamon acts as a slow release form of something called sodium benzoate. The lab studies show that different compounds of cinnamon, including cinnamaldehyde, which give the spice its distinctive flavor and aroma, are metabolized into sodium benzoate in the liver. Sodium benzoate then becomes the active compound, which readily enters the brain and stimulates hippocampal plasticity. This is kind of interesting as far as where the researchers want to take it and cinnamon's ability to increase learning ability as well as help uh, with other type of neurological um, diseases or misfunctions, for example, as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and so on and so forth. This is what they believe. This is the researcher's word. As for himself, now remember, this is what he does. He takes himself because he's such a strong believer in cinnamon, the researcher. Uh, they are not waiting for the clinical trials to start taking it on their own. The researcher, lead researcher, takes a teaspoon, which is about 3.5 grams of cinnamon powder mixed with honey as a supplement every night. Now I'm quoting the research directly. Should the research on cinnamon continue to move forward, they envision a similar remedy being adopted by struggling students worldwide. Individual differences in learning and educational performance is a global issue. In many cases, we find two students of the same background studying the same class, and one turns out to be a poorer learner, and the other does worse than the other academically. Uh, now, we need to find a way to test this approach in poor learners. We're talking about cinnamon. If these results are replicated in poor learning students as we move from an animal study to a human study, it would be a remarkable advance. At present, we are not using any other spice or a natural substance in regard to cinnamon itself. So, cinnamon helps increase hippocampal plasticity, which actually helps more neuron activity and so on and so forth, and formation of dendrites, blah, 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 blah. But cinnamon holds great promise of helping poor learners become, I would say, great learners. If you're looking at about 150% increase in learning capacity, if that translates to humans. Again, this is Ralph Turciano signing off. I'm starting to list the study parameters in the research uh, reports itself. This way it's easier for people to see exactly how things were done. If you want me to continue that process, please either comment or like more at the, at the end. I don't like asking for likes, but however, if you like it, please like it. Again, Ralph Turciano signing off, and I'll see you all next week. Catch you all then. Bye.